Hey guys, um, so as you can see, this tank has gone through some changes. Um, I decided to take out the blue background. Um, this was in conjunction with uh, the removal also of the Dwarf Bibiturates carpet. Um, as you can see, the tank looks a little bit more bare. Um, that's because when I was trying to uh, take, take out the green streamer, green streamer algae, I also had to unfortunately take out the Dwarf Bibiturates because they were getting uprooted in the process. And trying to replant a carpeting plant is really hard, so I just decided to uh, toss it away. So that's why it's this tank is looking a little bit uh, empty right now, but it's okay. Um, I managed to replant some of the dwarf bibliotheres there, and hopefully they'll they'll recarpet the empty space. Although it'll probably take a while since I'm not running any CO2 on this tank anymore, just uh, liquid CO2. Um, also, I'm doing something new here with this fish video, which if you may have noticed, the camera work is um, a little different. It's um, it's what the it's what uh, technical name for it in film is called valley. Um, it's when the camera is actually moving in space, and in this video, it's moving from right to left, and it's my dolly is a little bit unsteady and shaky because. Um, it's basically just a table being slid across carpet, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, the annoy there is doing really well. Um, hasn't melted, hasn't turned yellow, so I think it might pull through. And if it does, hopefully I can also trim them and use the plant clippings to put in the empty spots in this tank in the future. Um, other than that, this tank. Um, I'm liking the, uh, well, you know, since the, uh, the carpet is gone, I'm basically just trying to make this tank now into uh, a, lower to, a lower maintenance tank if possible. Um, even though I still do have the dwarf materials here, which is high maintenance, high maintenance plant, since it's mostly gone, I'm hoping that this tank will just be easier to maintain. Um, shrimps and fish are eating right now. Um, they are feeding on shrimp pellets that I put in, put in the tank. Um, the endlers are doing their endler thing. These guys are just like, they're just doing that like every second of the day, which is really funny. They're always like trying to show off to each other. Um, so this tank, this tank is uh, easy peasy <laughs> compared to the other tank. Um, just plant trimmings and water change basically and the plant trimmings even though you have, even though they're still still have to trim the plants they're easier because they're uh, stem plants so it's easier to to uh, trim them instead of trimming dwarf bibiturates is a lot more it's a lot harder because yeah anyway uh plants here also are a lot less demanding um mostly anugias crypts and stem plants so that's why this, this tank is a lot easier. And I'm basically just relying on light, well, light and the, uh, there's also dirt in this, this tank is also dirted, so I think that's why the uh, crypt larva there are doing really well. These crypt larvas, the, the foreground plant there, are just sprouting up everywhere in this tank, which is good. Um, it's taking a while though for that, for that to happen. Um, they're very slow growers, but they do sprout up like randomly, like everywhere, out of nowhere. Um, so that's cool. Um, the health fairy, si the, the grass plant there, the health fairy cypress, I think. They're the highest demanding plant that I have in this tank, and they seem to be doing well, so that's good. Um, yeah, guys, so that's basically it for this week. Um, until next time, bye.